Hey guys, this is Brick, and this is your quick hunting guide to the Zamtrios. The Zamtrios is a giant shark-faced amphibian with a real love for the ice. It can dive down into the waters below, cover itself in frozen armor, and even inflate itself to many times its normal size. Cutting weapons should aim for the back fin or tail, impact weapons should aim for the head or back fin, and shot weapons should aim just for the head. The shark monster is weak to both thunder and fire, so bring a weapon that uses one of those. This monster has a lot of attacks, so let's get right into them. When the monster enters this pounce position, there will be one of three things that can happen. The first attack it might do is shoot a water beam from its mouth. This attack covers about a 90 degree angle and goes in the direction opposite of the shark's face. When the shark takes this stance, begin running around it in the direction that its head is pointing, just in case it does use the water breath. You can also outrange this because the attack does have a strange downward slope to it. A second attack from this position, the Zamtrios will adjust its position once before charging forward. The adjustment makes it harder to dodge, but it also lets the player know that a charge is coming. A final attack from this pounce stance, the Zamtrios will leap forward and then either use its ice breath or do a 360 degree spin. If the Zamtrios jumps towards you in this position, run away as fast as you can. Another ranged attack, the monster will spit out glass Lobs of snow. Getting hit by one of these will inflict you with the Snowman debuff, which keeps you from doing anything apart from rolling and running. This debuff can be cleared with Cleanser or by waiting it out, but the easiest way to do it is to get hit by one of your allies, either a cat or another player. This debuff will also clear if you get hit by an enemy, but that's not exactly ideal. When enraged, the Xanthros will roar and its ice armor will form around it. This armor will make dull weapons bounce and make you do less damage, but it can be broken with enough persistence. While armored, the monster's front swipe will become much more powerful and cover a larger area. The Xanthros' charge attack can also be followed by a second charge in this form, so be careful for that extra one, it can surprise some people. When the Zamtrios grows tired of its armor, it will inflate its stomach and grow to an enormous size. While in this state, its stomach will take extremely high damage, so try and take advantage while you can. While inflated, the monster can jump forward or backwards, landing with a big AoE attack. This attack covers slightly more area than the shark itself, so make sure you keep your distance. After jiggling for a moment, the shark will roll forward, covering a ridiculous area. Get to the side of this one. Occasionally, the shark will stop moving and randomly shoot snowballs into the area around it. If you're feeling lucky, this is a great time to counterattack, but the snowballs are very random and if you're too close you won't be able to watch where they're going. Just before deflating, the shark's air sac will change from pink to gray. This is your cue to get some distance as it will shoot air all around it that will inflict you with ice blight. Once done deflating, the fight will return back to its original state with no armor. At any point, the monster can dive below the surface and use another variety of attacks. This is a great time to attack the fin and sonic bombs will also get the shark right out of the water. While underneath, the shark will sometimes drag its fin around the arena. Getting hit by this will inflict you with ice blight and hurt, so don't get hit. A very uncommon attack and only used while armored, the shark will sometimes surface and shoot spikes out of its back. Try not to be behind it when it surfaces. When exiting the water, the shark will sometimes lunge unexpectedly towards a player near its fin before popping out farther along its trail. This attack comes out very quickly, so make sure if you are going after the fin while it's underwater that you do so with a lot of health. A more common way of exiting the water, the Zamtrios will shake the ground underneath the player before surfacing. This attack can be dodged very easily without finesse simply by spamming roll in the direction away from the center of the shaking. As a final attack, the Zamtrios will leap forward after a small telegraph. Getting hit by this attack will put you in a pin state where the Zamtrios will pick you up in its jaws and carry you with its inflatable sack. If you get hit by this attack, make sure to spin the circle pad and spam A and X to get out as fast as possible. Mounting the Zamtrios is the exact same experience as mounting the Tetsukabra. It has a regular shake attack and a roar. Make sure that you hold on right away just in case it uses one of these first as they both have very quick startups. The Zamtrios' head, front legs, tail, and dorsal fin can all be broken. These places are also the same points that the ice armor can be broken, so keep that in mind. Overall, the Zamtrios is one of the most badass and diverse designs in the entire game. It's another personal favorite monster of mine, and I hope you enjoy fighting it as much as I do. Also, I hope that you never have to find footage for that spike attack, because seriously, it never uses it. As always, the full hunt is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm done with you people.